Domo Amejin des, back with another beginning Japanese lesson. Today, lesson 23, asking for descriptions using the question word donna. Alright, for this lesson, it would be wise to review adjectives from lesson 21. And our key sentence today is Kanojo wa donna hito desu ka? Donna hito desu ka? Our vocabulary, this is it. Starting with the question word, what kind of? Donna, donna, what kind of? And then the word for like a dorm, as in a university dorm or a school dorm, is ryo, ryo. The word for town, machi, machi, okay? And then some na adjectives here, the first one being quiet, shizuka, shizuka na, okay? Bustling or lively, nigiyaka, nigiyaka na, all right? This word is usually used with um, towns or streets that have many people doing many things. You could also use it for like parties. There's a lot of people at this party. Up next is the word for optimistic. Rakutendeki na, rakutendeki. Okay. And then finally an E adjective uh, meaning boring or dull. Tsumaranai. Tsumaranai. Okay. Let's get into the grammar using donna. So donna means what kind of, all right? And it always has a noun that comes after it. Uh, and answers to the question, uh, a question with donna usually contain an adjective. For example, watashi no tousan wa 60 sai desu. My father is 60 years old. So desu ka? Donna hito desu ka? What kind of person is he? Totemo rakuten deki na hito desu. He's a very optimistic person. You could also use donna to describe towns. Kono machi wa donna machi desu ka? Tsumaranai machi desu. Tsumaranai machi desu yo. It's a very boring, dull town, okay? Um, activity one, pick the most appropriate word for each sentence. Pause the video, try it on your own right now. I'm going to solve it right now, starting with number one. Roma wa Donna machi desu ka? Rome, Roma is Rome, okay? And then it's asking what kind of town is Rome? What kind of city is Rome? And then the next uh, sentence here, separated by a space, gives us the immediate answer. Totemo, which one is it? Furui or atarashi machi desu. Now remember, furui means old and atarashi means new. Uh, and Rome is relatively old compared to many 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 cities in the world today so i would say totemo furui machi desu furui machi desu okay number two bobu wa eh, we have two question words either nani or donna remember nani means what all right and donna means what kind of so what comes next is hito person bobu wa what kind of person Donna hito desu ka? Ii hito desu. He's a good person. Mm -hmm. Number three. Sasaki san no ryo wa donna ryo desu ka? Anmari nigiyaka desu or ja arimasen. Which could also be dewa arimasen. Well, remember we have anmari here. And anmari means not really. All right, you need a negative adjective here or a negative verb here. Uh, and the only negative uh, in this, in these uh, option brackets is ja arimasen. So the answer would be amari nigiyaka ja arimasen. Not really lively. There's not many people in there who are rambunctious, I guess, would be the meaning. Number four, we have two, again, two question words. Doko no where and donna what kind of. And next comes shukudai shukudai. Desu ka? Okay. Um, shukudai is homework, right? So it wouldn't really make sense to say where homework. Where homework? Uh, no, we're going to ask what kind of homework is it or do we have would be implied, right? So the answer here is donna shukudai desu ka? The other person replying tsumaranai shukudai desu. It's boring homework. Number five. Okaasan wa donna hito desu ka? Rakuten deki na or no? Which one? Hito desu. Rakuten deki is a na adjective, right? So we pick na. 
No is used for nouns, right? Connecting nouns together. But rakuten deki is a not adjective. Here are the answers in bold. Activity two, based on each person's picture, answer each question. And then we have some useful words on the right, more than what we will need. Um, that's to really get you thinking. What could fit with these pictures? Pause the video, try to answer each question on your own. I'm going to answer them right now. Number one. この人はどんな人ですかどんな人ですか Looking at our useful words, we have nice or kind. 親切,親切な He doesn't really look too nice or kind. This is being super judgmental, right? But this is part of the activity.、Um, then we have つまらない dull, or he's a boring person. Mm, maybe. Let's keep going. Naki mushi, crybaby. Doesn't really look like, well, kind of, well, doesn't really look like a crybaby. Responsible. Sekinin ka no aru. Sekinin ka no aru hito. Not so much. Talkative. Does he look talkative to you? Oshaberi. Oshaberi na. No. Diligent. Kinben na. Eh, I don't think so. And kawatta, strange.、Mm, maybe you could use kawatta here.、Um, I'm gonna go with the vocab word that we learned for this lesson, tsumaranai. He looks like a kind of dull person. Tsumaranai hito desu. Okay, number two. Kono hito wa donna hito desu ka? I'm gonna go with the woman. We're talking about the woman here. She looks nice. She looks kind. So I'm gonna go with 親切親切な人です親切な人ですはい Number three. この人はどんな人ですか Well, <laughs> this little girl is whimpering. She seems to be crying about something. I guess you could call her a baby. <laughs> so I think crybaby fits the best here.、えー、この人は、えー、泣き虫です Naki mushi des. Naki mushi is a noun. Okay, so you wouldn't add na after it. Naki mushi na hito.、Mm, naki mushi des, I would just say. Number four. Kono hito wa donna hito desu ka? This looks like a very, very proactive businesswoman climbing the business ladder, breaking all the glass ceilings.、Um, she could, I guess you could say she's responsible. Sekinin kan no aru hito desu. Or you could say she's diligent. I'm gonna go with diligent. Kinben, kinben na hito desu. And here are the answers. And our last grammar activity, activity three, provide a question that would warrant each given answer. Okay, so we're given the answers. Now we have to think of a question that would give us those answers. Pause the video, try it on your own now. I'm gonna solve it right now. Number one, The guy is responding, Watashi no shin wa chisai machi deshita. Watashi no shin is my hometown. Chisai is small and machi is town deshita was. So my hometown was a small town, basically. So in English, she could be asking, like, oh, what was your, what kind of hometown,、uh, what kind of town was your hometown like? Or was your hometown? So, to say that in Japanese, what would it be? Shushin wa donna machi deshita ka? Shushin wa donna machi deshita ka? It's probably the answer. We'll see on the next slide. Number two. The guy responds, Kare wa rakuten deki na hito desu. Rakuten deki na hito desu. He's saying that he or him, that guy over there, is. An optimistic person, right? Dakten deki, optimistic. So she could be asking logically, right? Oh, what is he like? What kind of person is he, right? The subject is the same. Kare wa, kare wa, donna hito desu ka? Donna hito desu ka? What kind of person is he? All right, number three. The woman responds with, Sono bill wa totemo, totemo furui desu. とても古いです。That building is very old. <laughs>、um, so、that guy could be asking, oh, what kind of building is that? そのビルはどんなビルですかそのビルはどんなビルですかあ、とても古いビルです。<laughs> とても古いです。Okay. Number four. 
The guy responds with, 今週の宿題はつまらないです。今週の宿題はつまらないです。So she's probably asking, what is the homework like this week? Or what kind of homework do we have this week? Which in Japanese you could say, 今週の宿題はどんな宿題ですか今週の宿題はどんな宿題ですか Here are the answers in bold.、Mm. Now, on to our listening practice. This、uh, is a very short lesson. We're ending up、uh, here already. I'm going to read two compositions twice.、Uh, listen carefully and write down what you hear. Okay? Pause the video if you need more time. I'm going to start with number one right now. あの人はどんな人ですかあの人はどんな人ですか Pause the video if you need more time. I'm going to show the answer for number one right now. あの人はどんな人ですか What kind of person is that person over there? Is that guy or girl over there? Number two. 私の寮はとてもにぎやかです。私の寮はとてもにぎやかです。And the answer for that one is 私の寮はとてもにぎやかです。My dorm is very とてもにぎやか。Very lively. There's many people in there always doing some things. Okay. Translation practice activity 5. Translate the following statements into either English or Japanese. Pause the video, try it on your own right now.、Uh, I'm going to reveal the answers now. The guy on top says, この街はつまらなくないです。つまらなくないです。Remember, つまらない is an e adjective. And to conjugate to negative tense, get rid of e at the end and add くない。つまらなくないです。In English,、uh, well, this becomes, this goes from boring to not boring or dull to not dull. This town, この街は isn't boring. つまらなくないです。The lady on the bottom says, She's a quiet person. <laughs> she's a quiet person. In Japanese, that would be, Kanojo wa shizuka na hito desu. Okay, shizuka na hito desu. And we're back to our key sentence. Kanojo wa don na hito desu ka? Now you should know this means, What kind of person is she? Okay. Shukudai homework. What is your town like? Describe your town using some of the adjectives、uh, I presented here in the lesson today. You can say, for example, Watashi no machi wa furui desu, ooki desu, or nigiyaka desu, or nigiyaka ja arimasen, you know. Say whatever you like, type it in the comments below. I want to know what your town is like. And as always, there's a worksheet that accompanies this lesson. You can download it for free as well as its answers at my website, link in the description below. And that's it for this lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was very short today. Hope to see you in a future lecture.